Art Center is looking at the possibilities of increasing MSP or minimum support price for the Kharif uh, crops for 2024-2025. If that happens, this is the second most important decision that the government would have taken for farmers. Remember the Prime Minister in his first decision that he took as the Prime Minister of the country for the third time signed the 17th installment of the Kisan Samman Nidhi. Sources have said that the government could be announcing a hike in the MSP in the range of 5 to 10 percent. In fact, MSP for pul pulses like Tuvar Dal and Urad Dal could also see a high hike. In fact, farmers' welfare has been something that has been a priority of this government. This is what uh, was reflected in the Prime Minister's decision to also release the 17th installment of the Prime Minister Kisan Samman Nidhi that uh, he did in his Lok Sabha constituency of Paranasi yesterday. I have my uh, I have a guest today to explain to us what this actually means, uh, Shiraj Hussain, former Secretary of uh, Agriculture. Thank you so much, sir, for speaking to NDTV. Uh, sir, MSP has been uh, a flashpoint between the opposition and the BJP for a long time. Uh, tell us how important is it uh, uh, if the government decides to hike the MSP for the for the pulses, especially and Kharif crops, and how will this benefit farmers? I think uh, for a large number of farmers, Sarif MSP is very important because Sarif is the largest crop, and a large number of farmers grow paddy and various other pulses. In the last 10 years, we have seen that uh, the highest increase has been given by the government for maize and jar. Mm. Uh, for jar and bajra, actually. Mm. Uh, in case of bajra, it is 100%, and in case of jar, it is 112%. However, um, I think that this year the government may give a higher uh, increase in MSP of two and masood and moon. Instead of uh, other crops, because the government has been wanting to reduce the dependence on imports for pulses. So I think the government may incentivize that. Okay. Uh, also, sir, you know, what we hear from our sources is that uh, the MSP increase could be likely for paddy, pulses, oil seeds, and also coarse grains. Tell us the importance of all of these crops because MSP, like we understand, is the minimum price for a crop that a farmer receives when he or she sells it to the government or to the agencies. But farmers have been saying that even the increased MSP is not adequate enough to cover their input costs and production costs. Uh, would that be also a challenge for the government? Yes, it is a challenge. In fact, um, the increase in MSP, whatever is announced by the government, will be applicable to Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, etc. But in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, for example, the state governments uh, during the last assembly elections, the ruling party BJP announced uh, an MSP of 3,100 rupees, mm -hmm. which is about 917 rupees more than last year's MSP. So whatever the government announces, the government announces for uh, this Kharif crop for paddy, the farmers of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh will get more. Hmm. However, the farmers of Punjab, Haryana, UP, etc. will get less than rupees 3,100 per quintal. Okay. Also, sir, you know, very uh, basic question here. How does the government increasing MSP prices also help farmers? Does it lead to rise in wholesale and also retail prices? How does it actually benefit uh, the farmers, especially when it comes to crops and also end products where the crops are used? You no, know, it benefits those farmers whose, whose crops are actually procured. And we have seen that the procurement of paddy has increased over the years, last five, six years. And in fact, it is quite... Uh, surprising and and quite quite an achievement that even last year when a lot of country a large part of the country was affected by el nino by lower rainfall even then the procurement of rice is exceeding 50 million tons so we are procuring too much of rice and in fact several experts have been writing i've also been writing that there is a need to reduce area under paddy in water stress regions of Punjab and Haryana. However, so far, the union government and the state government have not been able to agree to a formula which will incentivize the farmers for growing other crops. I think it is very important for the food security of India in the long run to reduce the, uh, the growing of water guzzling crops in Punjab and Haryana so that their water tables do not go down further. And I think the new government should pay highest attention to reaching a consensus with Punjab uh, and the new government in Haryana, which will be formed in a few months' time, so that there is a proper incentive to farmers to move away from, uh, you know, the, the water guzzling varieties of paddy. Pasmati paddy may continue to 
be preferred, but other varieties need to come down. Right. Also, Mr. Hussain, my last question to you, sir. A guaranteed income support, you know, what should be the government be uh, doing in this regard, specifically to help farmers, like you mentioned, to, uh, you know, uh, to counter and to sort of like, you know, make, li make their life simple in, in terms of changing weather patterns. We've seen drought conditions, we've seen floods and also market price fluctuations. Okay, we, seems to, we seem to have lost uh, Mr. Hussain. We'll try and get in uh, touch with him again. Uh, my colleague uh, Sunil Prabhu joins us with more details on this. Uh, uh, Sunil, tell us, uh, when is the cabinet meeting expected and what, kind, what, what are the expectations from the first cabinet meeting? Well, this is actually the second uh, cabinet meeting. Uh, the first was where they had cleared uh, clearly on the first uh, day after the uh, oath-taking ceremony. Uh, on the 10th itself, the Prime Minister, when he not only gave the portfolios to his Cabinet Ministers, had uh, announced the increase in the Prime Minister's housing scheme. Uh, today is the second Cabinet where, apart from the MSP on Karif, uh, which is expected to be increased, as uh, Mr. Uh, the Agriculture, New Agriculture Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan said very categorically uh, that we will be working towards uh, ensuring that farmers get a better uh, uh, you know, remuneration and that's I think in line with that there is going to be increase in the MSP it also gives farmers ahead of the sowing season and the monsoons where it hasn't broken out yet uh, what is the support system and what are they going to get apart from tour which is not going to happen uh, the other things like for example the Prime Minister's constituency the uh, uh, Varanasi uh, International Airport uh, that's uh, uh, going to be renamed to uh, 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 Lal Badu Shastri International Airport as well as get around 2000 uh, 800 crores of rupees. Uh, there is also a proposal for Maharashtra, which is going to the poles. Uh, big uh, mega infrastructure uh, project in terms of ports. Uh, the Vadwan port with PPP with JNPT, 76,000. It will be done in two phases uh, and has been waiting for some time. Uh, that also is expected to be cleared. Right. Thank you, Sunil Prabhu, for joining us with those details. Important decision expected uh, in a short while from now from the government side. Moving on.